Hold on, guys. Uh, we'll get it. We'll get it working. Hold on. Oh no. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm here. Um, and you will see me in a second. <laughs> Okay, okay. Alright, well that works. That works now. Okay. But we need... Alright, let me hide it for one more second so I can get my tracking working without showing my IP address. Cool! Oh, how's everyone today? Um, my... My VTube studio chose violence this morning. And... Through USB. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good! Okay, hello! Hello, everyone! <laughs> you can see me! Uh, my tracking is gonna be weird today. My tracking is gonna look weird. Um because it's the default tracking settings. So, if my face looks wonky today, particularly my mouth, it's gonna look a little different than usual. That's because uh, VTube Studio decided to update five minutes before my stream and all my settings are gone. <laughs> And settings for VTube Studio are actually quite important. You should not use the default. <laughs> Sorry, but you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. I think the mouth is really sensitive or something. Yeah, anyways. Anyways, let's pay it no mind. How How is everyone? Uh, hi, a placeholder shrimp. Hi, Yvette. Hi, MS Paint Mouse. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Broad Corruption. Hi, Vel, the one and only. Hi, Kadia Toe, the artisan. Hello. Uh, Cirrus? Oh, Cirrus! Cirrus! You've got a design in the, in the, in the pile. I hope we get to it today. Hi, Snow. Hi, Robin Hood Burb. Uh, hi, Justice Kyo. Hi, Queen of Isopause. Hi, Komatov. Hi, Nolik Web. Hi, Spooky Wooky Coconut. Let's let's um, briefly chat um, while I make a Twitter post about the stream, really quick. Um, something I wanted to ask you guys is I'm I'm actually working on my next. Um, is there, is there background music, by the way? Yeah, there is background music. Okay. Uh, I'm actually working on my next uh, video right now, and I wanted to ask you guys um, what type of advice. So I'm making an advice video next, and what, what type of advice for young VTubers would you like me to, to give in this next video? Uh, why don't you guys, you guys brainstorm while I... Well, I say, well, I, um, announce I'm going live on Twitter. Because I would really like to, um, Copy that. There we go. Okay. Live tweet. Now we ping the Discord. Uh, ping in the Discord. Uh, there we go. There we go. Everyone's pinged. Hello, everyone. Hi, Dragofina. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, glad you've accepted my last minute submission. Yeah, of course. Hello, got sick, but mostly okay. Is chat on screen need to be approved or something? No, it doesn't need to be approved, but some specific words will get catch the YouTube 
whatever. Content advice. Deciding what content we want to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, how to choose a great VTuber name. Hmm. I haven't covered this in a video yet. I haven't covered... Uh, oh. Thank you. Ah. Thank you, whoever subscribed to the channel. Hold on, my VTube studio is... Allison DePrimo. Thank you. Um, types of moe and how to achieve them. Interesting, interesting. I feel like a lot of people tell you how to start with VTuber models, but never what content you should start with or what video to upload first. Okay, okay, okay. Um, hi, Leaso. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, Queen of Isopods is your other account. <laughs> Some indie VTuber designs are wild. Heck yeah. I feel like setting up boundaries. We are going to talk about setting up boundaries. How to take care of your voice. Another good suggestion. Um, rootinous tootinous of cowboys. Gonna have to wrestle that out of uh, Lasso's, <laughs> Lasso's title. Recently, I want to know how you set up scenes and sources in OBS for chatting, opening, closing. Okay, so like an OBS setting up. Maybe something on how to adjust the tracking properly in VTube Studio. <laughs> how bad is my tracking right now? Are you guys feeling the uncanny valley or something? <laughs> I feel like my mouth is opening way wider than it usually does. Um, <laughs> looks a bit weird. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes. Reese is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you all for the suggestions. I will, I will uh, put those on the list. Um, particularly maybe like the names thing. Feels more dynamic with an open mouth. Oh, I, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep it like this then. But uh, the eyes definitely need adjustment. My eye tracking is not working as usual. Uh, but, but yeah, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh. I don't know why VTube Studio uh, lost all my thing. I think that's a bug. I don't think if you upload, uh, like if you do the new VTube Studio uh, update that it's gonna mess up your setup. I think I'm just like a victim of a bug. And I like the mouth, it's cute today. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. All right, anyways, thank you everyone for your patience. I think we are ready to go um, right into it. I streamed yesterday and my tracking couldn't tell if my mouth was open when I normally can't tell if it's closed. Interesting. Well, uh, something... I don't think I'm, like, an expert on this, but I, I can research, like, what to do. Uh, it might be a, a video in its own, because, uh, I'm trying to give, like, really general advice to VTubers. Um... But, but yeah, but yeah, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's get to gaming. All right, that looks good. Let's put on the music. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Not yet. All right. Let's see. We're listening to some... Silly, silly Nintendo music. Because why not? Everyone wants silly Nintendo music in their life, right? Okay, let's move me back. Gotta... We gotta make chat a little smaller. Sorry, this, this one is kind of hard to, like, set up to show the full design, so chat's gonna be extra small. Better be Yoshi's Island in that silly Nintendo music. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Yeah, looking in the arm area, it looks like you have three arms. Yeah, that happens. Sometimes VTubers just have three arms. It, it, it is what it is. Um, I think I'm going to have like a teacher pointer toggle in my 2.0, so you don't have to worry about three arms for long. All VTuber designs are unique. I love them either way. Yeah! More the merrier, am I right? Yep, more arms, the better. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, okay. Let me get my, my lore list out. Okay, 
We've got the lore list. Uh, is the BGM a little loud? There are- f there is a spider VTuber today. Uh, okay, okay. So the first thing we have to go over with every VTuber appreciation is the rules. Okay. So when we- when we do VTuber appreciation, there is strict rules in chat, okay? This is so that I can continue to do them without anyone getting bullied. We've got, do stay positive. We have to say nice things about the design. Uh, when, when mentioning the person in the third person, make sure you're using the right pronouns. All of them are listed. Uh, point out little details you notice if you don't know what else to say about the design. If you do want to give us a suggestion, you, you can use this format. It would be nice, cool, or cute if. Like, it would be cool if you gave the, char or the character bangs to emphasize your goth mo motif. So we're going to use that format if you have any suggestions for the VTuber on how they can improve the design. We're not just gonna go outright with critique, okay? We're gonna use suggestions, okay? Okay? So... That leads us to don't be mean, do not make fun of the design. That's kind of an instant ban. Uh, don't mention the skill level of the artist in a negative way. You can say, wow, that artist's really talented, but you can't say, wow, that artist sucks, or that artist needs to work on their XYZ. The artists stay out of this, okay? Okay? They didn't consent to getting roasted just because they made a VTuber model, alright? Alright? Uh, don't point out flaws in the design, okay? Don't outright go like, oh, that arm's anatomy is wrong. That- that doesn't look good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't be hating on main. Yes, yes, yes. Um, criticism outside the suggestion format is a big no-no. You have to use the it would be nice if type format. You can't just say this design needs some color. You have to say, oh, it would be nice if you added more color to the design. Do you see the difference? Because a one, one is a suggestion and one is a criticism. So in order to continue to do VTuber Indie Appreciation, we have to follow these rules. Uh, and I am... I'm strict on the ban hammer on these days, okay? Just comments about improvement in a polite way. Got it, exactly, exactly. Be polite, be polite, be nice. Remember there's people behind these models and there's artists who poured hundreds of hours, okay? Caramel VT, thank you for following. Caramel, we do have your design in the, in the mix. Let's see if we get to it today. Uh, the other thing is I have one long list of Almost 40 VTubers, and I kind of split it down the middle. Um, you can check the Google Doc. I can... I can share the... Actually, you can check the description of this to, to see the, the order. Um, we might not get to everyone today. In fact, we probably won't. We will probably have one more part of this, but... I'm just gonna get as far as I can in the list, okay? I did not expect this many submissions. You guys went above and beyond. <laughs> Another three hour stream, yeah. Are there male VTubers? There are male VTubers. Actually, there are quite a bit of male VTubers. You are in luck. All right, so let's... Okay, we did Yuki, we've done Adesu. Okay, this is our first VTuber for the day. Yay, so many VTubers, yeah. We are halfway through the list. And our first VTuber of the day is Sod. Let's read Sod's lore. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, the concept behind the design is a bat slash cat furry that has all the cool power powers like love, magic, and minions. Uh, very meta and sentient thought. Okay. Uh, any suggestions? They ask for some themes for outfits in the next season or year. Um, so, they're looking for alt outfits. Yeah, Mage Bat Cat. Very cool. 
Look at those wings. Giant, giant wings. I'm, I'm actually je jealous of these wings. Um, let's see, let's see. We've got, we've got like some interesting color palette going on with the, the dark red and the light, or the, the lighter pink, and then we've got purple and yellow. I think it would be nice if I saw you in, um, maybe some cooler colors. Maybe get an analogous color palette going on for your alt outfit. That would be cool. Um, so like, experiment with some some more purples, some blues. Um, maybe maybe a hint of mint green. Mint green would look really good on you. Um, as for like a theme for like a design, I'd love to see like kind of a a wizard, a wizard type, maybe warlock robes. That would be cool. Cause it. Very dapper gentleman right now, saw it is. Uh, looks like a mage bat. Ooh, I like the bat cat design. Yeah, you can see both animals pretty, pretty well. Um, love those wings for sure. Yeah, it would be cool. Uh, idea would be a jack-o'-lantern costume. Yeah, compliment the purple, go with the whole orange. Ooh, yeah, orange would be a good color on you too. That would be more contrasting. Wing texture is so good, yeah. The artist did a really good job rendering all the textures. Uh, I feel like if he were in an anime, I would be taking on the most magical adventure. Yeah, he kind of looks like, um... Do you guys know the Ghibli movie, The Cat Returns? I I actually think uh, Saad looks like The Cat Returns. It would be cool if the alt outfit was lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe a lighter color palette for the alt outfit. Warlock, Necromancer, Butler Cat, yeah, 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 hands on the wings, mm -mm. oh yes, maybe even a dapper and gentlemanly, if you had a teacup and saucer, ooh, <laughs> yeah, oh, hi dynamite, yeah, I feel like the reds should be brighter, ooh, yeah, maybe, I, I don't know though, because he, uh, he's also got some pink on him, and I think pink and bright red can can kind of clash sometimes, but you can experiment with that. Um, I love the big wings and floofy ears. Yeah, the textures are so good. I'm seeing the Cat Returns vibes. Yeah, look at the Cat Returns, in fact. Maybe a white suit. Maybe a white suit. White suit would be cool. Maybe a tail coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yellow gold, the primary color in the alt outfit. That would be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like a guy with a grand cane collection. Yes. Yes. I can already imagine his voice. Can't you? You can already imagine the voice associated with this character. <laughs> He's got a lot of character to him. Big contrast would be a white gold suit with some blue subtle hints maybe in the shading. Yeah. <laughs> a white bathroom? That's so silly. <coughs> I'm choking on my own tea. Help me! I'm not a dapper gentleman. Oof. All right, all right. Yeah, we've got lots of we've got lots of suggestions. Sod, thank you so much for submitting your design. It was a very nice treat. I love your silhouette. I love your ears and your wings. You've got something really special going on. Never change. And we're gonna move on to the next VTuber. All right, all right. We've got Fumio-kun. Fumio-kun. This one is quite the complex design. We've got a poet's blouse, corset, and... Um, you know, kind of like these these high heel battle boots, and then and then layered over that is this beautiful articulated skeleton brace over over all of that, and then over that we have this white coat. I do believe the coat is like meant to be a toggle though. 
So it, there's like a lot of cool jointed articulated gold elements to this design. And I think the fact that the color palette is very um, monochrome, we've got, we just got black and white with a touch of purple, um, really helps the gold stand out. Reminds me of Rin Penrose in the best way. Yeah, we've got a very regal uh, black and white kind of thing, like Rin Penrose. Is that Kurapika's hand chain on <laughs> the hand diagram? Oh, I don't know who that is. I love gold, best color. Yeah, and I think that if, if any more color was added, it would take away from the gold. So I'm really glad they kept the color palette very, very limited. I think the, the hair is a great addition to kind of tie in the black and white together. Hi, Kenny. Skeleton brace, very elegant. This is just very, very elegant in general. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. We should read the lore. Fumio-kun. Fumio-kun is an undead doctor. Okay, everything makes more sense when I actually read the concept. Everything makes more sense when I read the concept. Undead Doctor is very good. Uh, you know what would be cool? Is it maybe in an alt outfit? Uh, you have the... What is it called? What is it called? The, the German... Maybe not German. But like the... The crow mask that doctors used to wear. In the plague. Maybe a plague... A plague doctor's mask? Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? Uh, look, you know, like, it looks like a crow. I think that would be a really cool, that would be a really cool, uh, thing to experiment with. And it would bring, bring Doctor to the forefront of the theming. Um, cause, un I think plague masks are associated a lot with both Doctors and Death. So, uh, I think that could be a, a good statement piece. Um, let's see. I think the, it looks gorgeous how the only thing I could suggest is maybe a head ornament. Maybe, probably a cross headpiece or something that is still toggleable. Yeah! Yeah! I think, I think the ol only thing is, uh, the, the earring as in the... The earring as the ornament on the head is probably a little understated especially from this angle you guys are seeing it so small they do have like a cool cool earring um but uh something more like on the head uh might be a good direction to take it if you're ever looking to add to your design but right now i love the different textures going on i love that you decided to go with a statement piece like a focal point of your design which is the rib cage and you kind of designed around it like i can tell and i think it it works really well um i major props to your designer toggleable glasses could be a nice touch yeah maybe gold framed glasses that would work uh we need a 3d model so we can appreciate that rib cage <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks luxury. Yeah, I I love this design. It's so well done. It's very well done. It's incredibly elegant. Um, gold stethoscope around the neck. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, plague doctor's mask. I wouldn't do one mask completely, the visage, but extends the gold rib cage over the face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you could also have a toggleable standard surgeon mask. That might be work at work. Glasses. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Skeletal design is really cool. Right. Head mirror? Something to consider. I agree, I agree. <laughs> a ponytail! <laughs> yeah. Alright, I think we've gotten some pretty good suggestions for Fumio-kun. Thank you so much for sharing your design. I absolutely love it. Gold skeleton bottom jaw? That'd, that'd be cool. Alright. We gotta move on, guys. We've got lots of VTubers. Here we go. Next VTuber! Woo! 
Here we have Miki-kun. Miki-kun, let's get... Let's get Miki-kuns. Alright. Concept behind the design is... She's a witch of memories. Something from a completely different world that connects through the Sea of Fragments. Wait, is this... No, this is Aaron's. I, w I was confused. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Miki could. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Lunar Fox VTuber. This is the Lunar Fox VTubers. <laughs> Please pretend that foxes can live on the moon. Likes trying everything and anything as long as her potato laptop can handle it. Um, no, no um, specific suggestions asked. Yeah, Lunar Fox VTuber. That makes a lot more sense. I can see it. I can see it. The roundness, the roundness of the um, collar does give me moon. Um, something I could say, if you wanted your concept to be a little clearer, is if you swapped out the ice motif uh, on the clothing for maybe a galaxy motif. Um, but, you know, that's- that's a minor thing. I think the snowflakes could be traded to moons- oh! Had an ornament, a form plate. she gets cool superpowers, yeah! Ooh, what about a crescent moon motif? That would be cool! Cause I already get, like, the roundness of the face and the- the hair and the- the fluff. It's already good at the- the- the, um full moon motif um let's see thought she was a berman cat white fluffy hair with black gloves on all paws oh i see it i see it yeah uh i think the reference of moon is in the outfit mm. again i'd suggest a head ornament yeah yeah maybe a hairpin but I really like what you have so far already. I already like your artist's shading style. Your artist's shading style is very like, um, how do, how do I say it? It looks like you've been drawn in color pencils, which I absolutely love. I love the handmade look for VTubers. I think if they get too perfect, um, it, it starts to look you know, not as interesting as someone who has like visible strokes in their VTuber, if that makes sense. My favorite JP Holostars member is Robaru, so. <laughs> Black stockings to contrast the white upper half. Yeah. Um, I will say that they did a good job breaking up the many white colors with the black, the black bow, the black gloves, the black skirt uh, stripe. You could continue that in the stockings, yeah. Some constellations patterns could also be cute if they wanted to blend the concept of snow and space together pretty nicely. And that would blend together nicely because when we think of uh, space, we do think of cold temperatures already. So I, I think they could blend really nicely together. Uh, there's something very... Annoying about very smooth art, especially now with the whole f f artificial art generation. Thank you for the com- Oh, Miki-kun, you made it! Yeah, I- I really like this design. I- I like how I could see me- Okay, don't ch take this the wrong way, chat. I- I could just see me, like, hugging this character and it would feel so- So- Soft and warm. Like- that Miki Kun looks very inviting, which if if that's what you're going for, you're nailing it. I think so. I think so. Um, she could also put a moon hairpin. Moon hairpin might be cool. Uh, yeah. Fluffiness is poignant. Yeah, I think she's adorable. It was all coincidental. I was about to sleep and I accidentally opened your stream and boom! Ha ha ha! Wow! It was fate. Fate brought you here, Miki-kun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you were adrift in space, but she came to save you? <laughs> I think maybe going from light blue to darker royal purple, like setting the sky, maybe in the line with more moon theme, allow white constellations, crescent moons, 
patterns to pop nicely. Yeah, you could do that in the inside of the coat. You could go with a darker color, um, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you for for you for you, Mia, for the follow. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, doesn't need moon theming in her outfit if she does not feel to incorporate the space theme that much. Yeah, if if you know, uh, the space is more of a setting r rather than a theme. That's fine too, you know. Uh, <laughs> I already like the design. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change much. No, I, like the only thing I could suggest is maybe a hairpin. But honestly, I already like the design. It's really good, really solid. Very cute design. I love it. Much floof. Yes. Gone as an artist is to be able to draw floof so that Yem can also have floof. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Vanta Varmint, thank you for the follow. All right. We have to move on. We could go. <laughs> you want to cuddle it? She could go for a big block of cheese. Her head and the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's silly. All right, everyone. Thank you, Miki-kun. Oh, thank you for the commentary, guys. Now I shall sleep. Oh, good night, Miki Kun. All right, let's go. Next VTuber. Oh, thank you, Shape the Century, for the follow. All right, all right, here we go. Cheese. Cheese. You guys, you guys were speaking of cheese. Look at this. Look at this. We we've got cheese. Here's your cheese. Cheese. Uh, a red panda from the San Francisco Zoo that ate a bunch of zoo junk food and touched a pink Nintendo 3DS enchanted with gamer magic, which gives them a human form, albeit two, still two feet and six inches like they were as an animal. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an amazing, amazing lore. Thank you, pa Froya. Wow, we are getting a lot of a lot of follows over on t Twitch. Thank you, thank you, everyone. So short. Okay, first of all, I am very biased here because I absolutely love. I love the Kigurumi pajamas. I may or may not own a few Kigurumi pajamas myself. I may or may not want to give Yam some Kigurumi pajamas one day. I absolutely love it. It's so warm and inviting. Again, I just want to hug this character. I think it's adorable. I think it's adorable. Um, something I think would really, um, elevate this design. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, something I really think would, uh, elevate this design is, you see the star hairpin? I think if you just repeat it, uh, if you repeat it in the lower half, either give her some star pattern socks, or, um, give her star knee patches on her, her pajamas. I think that would that would do really uh, elevate the design and set you apart from a regular uh, red panda. Like, own that star branding, right? But other than that, I already think the art looks really good. Um, really, really solid design already. Simple but good. Yeah. Or star buttons, yes. Just repeat that star motif one more time. That's what I would say. So that, so that, um, it becomes a part of your branding. Um, but you know, it's already, you know, with simple designs like this, every extra detail could be too much. So I don't know if I would actually keep that, you know? Um, it's just something to experiment with if you're ever looking to, to, you know, <laughs> uh, elevate. Or, or, like, try something new. Experiment. That's what I mean. Not elevate. Experiment. 
I already think you're adorable. <laughs> I absolutely love both forms, and I think your silhouette is great with that giant hair swoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've definitely thought out your silhouette quite, quite, uh, well. I think the buttons would be cool to break up the monotone PJs. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, adorable. I don't have much to say because I think it's already super solid and... You know, I, I think we, as VTubers, love hyper-detailed designs. If I think of, like, the rigs of Iron Vertex, I think of, like, um... You know, super detailed painterly models with a million details, including, like, the water dripping off the character's tail, if we're thinking about Bao. And, um... You don't always need that. Sometimes you can be, you know, an Astro Boy type character, you know? Uh, by Astro Boy, I mean, like, a solid, recognizable, yet very simple design. Yeah! So that's Cheese. Thank you so much for submitting. Your, your design is a joy to look at. And I... Oh, yeah, I really like the simplicity. It's easy, and it's an easy character repli to replicate when it comes down to fan art. Yes. Super detail can be amazing, but so can simple cartoony shapes. Exactly. We need both. We need variety. All right. Next VTuber. Holiday LeBlanc. Let's, let's see Holiday's concept. Holiday LeBlanc. Holiday LeBlanc is an angel, specifically a cherub, that found a laptop on heaven. After having no luck finding the owner, Holiday decided to browse through the device. Eventually, Holiday became enamored with human culture and wanted to learn more, so they created a YouTube channel, Twitch account, and Twitter to find out more. They created a human form to the best of their abilities as to not scare their audience with their natural form. Their goal is to learn more about humans while sharing some fun activities together and getting more immersed with the human realm. Okay, alright. Yeah, I'm geek time. Remember when I said... When it, remember when I said I love the VTubers with like a texture to them that looks hand-drawn? Holiday LeBlanc has that really well. Look at the line art. The line art even is rough. Uh, this looks like a VTuber that was literally hand drawn with maybe like uh, pastels and charcoal. Like it's, ah, it's so cool. It's so cool. And it adds to the, the fluffy, fluffy light angelic feeling. Other than that, my favorite thing about this is the silhouette. Um, I love how they use textured hair to be able to make an interesting shape um, with the with their hair, um, which is a star, which very much fits in with their th motif. If you see, they have like uh, earrings that are stars. They've got star buttons on their uh, sleeves. So yeah, genius, genius idea. I also love their halo. Their halo is quite. Um, quite unique. I don't think I've seen another angel with that kind of halo. Um, and I will say there are a lot of angel VTubers, so you do have to work hard to um, stand out as an angel VTuber, and I think Holiday does a really good job standing out. Love the hair. Yeah, hair is my favorite thing. There's so much to love about this design, actually. Like, kudos, kudos to the designer um, and the artist, yeah. If they're planning on making a design full body, gotta consider adding leg warmers. Think it would fit them well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like knee high, knee high leg warmers would do really well. Uh, even to match match the arm warmers, right? Love the line art differentiation through uh, colors, really speaks a lot when it comes to visuals. The visuals are eye candy. Like, this artist's art style is gorgeous. I might. I might write this artist's name down <laughs> and send people their way because, wow, wow. 
<laughs> I don't have I don't have many suggestions. I'm just kind of fangirling. The color palette is beautiful. Like the shading. Look at the shading on the wings. Everything looks like glittery. You know? I don't even know how you achieved that in a 2D drawing, but they did. Um, I guess, like, if you wanted, you could have, like, a hairpin that matches the belt, but I don't even want to put a hairpin on, on that beautiful hair. Like, I think the hair in itself is, like, already really, really, really good. The hair is a star, I thought it was a reference to the foreheads of the cherubim. Oh! Could be. Uh, what's it called? Maybe a little choker. Oh, a choker! Yeah, 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 like a necklace with the same, the same belt texture. Yeah, 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 like a choker. Yeah, that would, that would work well. I agree, I agree. I think, I think that would be nice. Other than that, um, Holiday, you have a wonderful model. You have a wonderful model. Uh, tip your artist well. I love, I love what they did with your character. And I hope, I hope you go far because I absolutely think you, you're adorable. So, thank you so much for submitting. And we are going to move on to the Alright! Oh, Soma! Soma, are you in chat? If not, I hope you see the VOD. Soma, you're such a talented artist! Soma! Alright, let me find... Let me find... Yes, here's Soma. Alright. Are you ready for this lore? I am... I love this lore. Are you ready? A Naga from Buddhist slash Hindu, Hindu mythology. Lore. Hailing from the underground city of Nagas, Soma is a seven-headed Nagini born into a clan decided or dedicated to preserving world peace and prosperity. Her family in particular were healers. As part of her coming of age, she was sent on a pilgrimage to experience the mortal world and see for herself what her clan fought to preserve generation after generation. Her pilgrimage involved traveling around, observing mankind's grand inventions and listening to stories of the weird things they did. Most importantly of all, she found that modern medicine had advanced to the point where there were few things left for Nagas to cure. It fascinated her, but also made her purposeless. Soma chose to find a new purpose in human society, firstly by immersing herself in its culture, the arts, entertainment, science, and technology. Can't you tell Soma is a writer? Like, I can, I can tell. I can tell that this person is very lore-minded. I can see every, every ounce of the lore uh, embedded in the design, right? I'm I'm actually so excited for this this model to be complete. The design is super well balanced. I know Soma's been working on the design, um, but you know we've got a balance of asymmetry. Um, I love the. <laughs> you're a D and D player. I I can tell like you're really good at backstories. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Can't really suggest much, but I have. <laughs> yeah. The, Gold ornaments on the tail too? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love... It's just so unique and I think... Having a cultural element that... Um, I don't see much in VTubers, that being like... I don't see a lot of Hindu slash Buddhist inspired VTubers. And I think it takes us, a, a, you know, someone familiar with the culture to be able to do it well. And so I love your familiarity with that culture to um, bring that into your design. Yeah, yeah. And I love the use of culture in the lore, yes! Honestly, I've never seen a VTuber take this, this direction, um, both in design and lore. And it, it feels... I, 
I'm literally gushing with the with the potential of this design because it's, it's so good. It's so good. Love the representation this will bring to the VTubing scene. Yes, uh, the gold ornaments, the headdress. The headdress is like probably my favorite part. I'm sure it'll be a a probably gonna be a toggle. I would recommend making that um, headdress a toggle just in case you wanna have a lower profile on stream. Um, <sighs> it's so good, it's so good. I've, <sighs> look who it be, yeah. I love even the makeup, the, um... oh, I don't wanna get it wrong, but I, I love the um, red, I think that's paint on the forehead. <gasps> It's so good. It's so good. Everything is so good. I can see. I can see. It. <laughs> I have no critiques. I, I just want to see it done. I just want to see it done. So continue. Please continue to. Okay. The forehead mark is called a unalome. Or unalom? Oh. Yeah. Be really cute if she had a gold nose ring with a chain to the ear cuff as well. Ooh, that might be something to experiment with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cool name for a forehead mark. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think <sighs> I want everyone I, I want everyone to see this design. <laughs> mm. I don't feel like worthy of, of giving any suggestions because I've all I've seen this design. <laughs> I've seen this design, um, like as it's as it's been worked on, and every single time I think it just screams like potential to go to blow up and be amazing. Honestly. And something like you're never gonna see a design like this in Hollow Life, right? So if you have like a unique culture that hasn't been seen much in the VTuber sphere and you're you're passionate about your culture, please, please feel free to like combine that into your design because it it's so cool. And you know, as someone who isn't so familiar with this culture, I it makes me want to learn more, right? I feel like more representation of the Ruby in areas would also be nice. I don't know where though, but it looks great. Yeah, it's gonna be that, like, once it's colored, you could be able to... Because if you look on, like, the profile picture I have over here, there are ruby ornamentations on on uh, certain, certain places, like, in the... The chain glove, I want to say, and, like, the armbands. So, yeah. Anyways, I can't wait for this design to be finished. Thank you so much, Soma, for letting me gush about you. If I... <laughs> Y'all, once once uh, Soma's design is done, I'm, I'm gonna be, like, retweeting it and, like, saying, like, Look, guys, it's Soma! Soma's done! Like, because I can't wait. I can't wait. This is an amazing design, and I want to see it through. Like, even the details of, like, the snake... Snake slitted eyes make it so unique from head to toe. It's just saturated in uniqueness. Or I guess in this case from head to tail. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I need to I need to move on, but we could talk about Soma for another hour. Just saying. Anyways, uh thank you so much, Soma, for letting me us talk about you. Alright. Let's go on to the next VTuber. Hello, I'm late. That's okay. You don't you don't need to be. Oh, yeah. You cuz you saw her gif tuber work a little bit before I moved on. Yeah, that's the kind of downside of anime because it mainly originates from Japan everything so it can only be Japanese cultural influences, but even Japan is like, nah, rest of the world too. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. I can see that. I, I have no cultural influences other than like, I like classical, like I like historical fashion from Europe. 
<laughs> Which is why my my outfit has so many ruffles. And then I have like a Japanese Hakama in the 2.0. Uh, but other than that, I'm just focused on bat. For for my, I don't really tie in my own culture to my my design. But I think if you have a unique culture, please please feel free to do it. All right, we are on to Leon KH99. It's very cool, very cool design. Hold on, let's, let's get on to the the lore. Okay, hold on. Gotta get through a few. Okay, here we go. They are a robotic fox person. Self-made. Nice. Uh, so advice they'd like is they're primarily looking for a character design and maybe input on the artwork. Um, this is still a work in progress. Well, we're not gonna critique the artwork, okay? We're not gonna critique the artwork just, just because of my own rules, but... We can give you pointers on the design. I already really like it. This is quite cool. Uh, I love how far you took the triangle motif. Like you really, you saw a triangle motif and you really went for it. Like you, you really just continued with it throughout the design. And I think that works really well. Uh, you think it's good? Futuristic Fox? Love the shapes on the clothing? Yeah, the shapes on the clothing are what I really like. Um, I'm ashamed I didn't notice the tail until you all pointed it out, and I love it! It would be nice for the background for streams wasn't as similar to the shade to the tail, so it uh, stands out better. Yeah, like a, a very dark background would be good. Uh, I arrived! Neato design, high trash tier gameplay. I love the ears a lot, and the color scheme is nice too. Yeah! The ears are, like, really cool. It's both sober and detailed. It's it's the perfect amount of detail for me, personally. Um, I love that a lot of the design elements are baked in, so even if Leon changed outfits, you'd still know exactly it's Leon. Um, yellow cuffs on the shoe design or some kind of yellow cons continuation to just keep that going even if very slightly. I like how the shirt motif is sober, uh, but you can still see the slight wrinkles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if you ever get famous enough to have cosplayers, they will need to curse you. Your name for making this design. It's very cool and intricate. It would need a lot of custom fabric. Yes. Uh, no worries. No worries. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Hmm. I don't. I don't have any critique. It's just such a good. It's it's rad. This design's rad. It's cool. It's very well done. Top half concentration is good. Um. Colors are really well balanced. Honestly, I think it would be cool if the ears were changed like the tail. So smaller triangle for an ear, but the hologram for the rest of the ear. Oh, hmm, maybe bringing hologram into the ears too. I think it would just be hard to see against the hair because the hair is a very light color. I guess, I mean, I'm a hypocrite, right? Because I have light on light on light. Um, maybe bringing a secondary color into the hair to break up all that light color. Like, if you really want silver hair, uh, that, that works. It, it already works. Um, but maybe experiment with a different color hair just to make the other things pop. It's just something to experiment with. I'm not saying it's bad. Um, it's, it's a he, yeah, we have, we have pronouns listed, guys. Personally added a bit more teal, yeah. Black stripe in the hair would look cool, yeah, 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 yeah. Reminds me of some Warframe designs, oh, yeah. Uh, like a spherical hovering robot companion, yeah, where's your marketable plushie, Leon? <laughs> I think his design would also work with black hair or cyan teal hair too. Yeah, yeah, like 
work within your color palette, but maybe either high, uh, like uh, some stripes in your hair or a uh, different color hair. I wish I could escape my silver hair, but the bat I chose has has silver hair. So I'm stuck I'm stuck with silver hair, but you know. Nothing wrong with silver hair. It's just very light on light. Like my complexion is very pale and then I have white hair. <laughs> so it, it, there's a lot of light colors in my in my design. Uh, 2.0 will be a little better with this just because I'm I'm adding I'm adding a little bit more darker colors into my 2.0 but you know gradient shift from the top to bottom would be cool oh yeah 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 I like this silver hair but it could use a second color yeah so <laughs> thank you Leon so much for sharing your design it's really cool it's so cool this is like one of the best Android android uh vtubers i've seen um my chat gave you a few suggestions take them or leave them absolutely love it keep being you and we're gonna go on to the next vtuber all right admiral argent i don't know if cello's in chat but this is by a very talented artist in my Discord server, and I, I, I've been fangirling about this design. Alright, alright, alright. Admiral Argent. Nickname Argent. Uh, she's a bounty hunter pirate with inspiration coming from Feather Stars. Now I need to show you what Feather Stars are so that you under- you're gonna think this design is genius, okay? Let me show you what a feather star is. And then you'll be like, wow! Wow! Let's see, let's see. Let's find one. Here's a good picture. Here you go. This is what a feather star is, everyone. Do you, do you see the do you see the um inspiration cuz I do I do and I think it's genius Yeah do you see Wow yeah so now suddenly the feather tattoos the feather in her hat even her hair makes a lot of sense right Yeah this is such a unique uh animal to be based on too Like seriously absolutely love it so unique mm -hmm. it takes it takes an already like underdone concept like pirate i know that hosho marine is like a co cosplayer pirate like she's a cosplayer cosplaying as a pirate um and like do we have any other pirate vtubers i don't i can't really think of them but this takes the concept in a totally different direction. That's an animal. I thought it was plant. No, it is an animal. Yeah. Gotta go to bed. Good night, bread corruption. Yeah. I think more feather star in the colors too. The hair could be longer to work more like the animal. Maybe tats from the from the back to the arms. Oh, so like make make the feather star motifs longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. There's a vampire pirate VTuber? That's interesting. Um, the one thing I'm trying to like wrestle with is I feel like the brown might need to be a cooler shade of brown, but I'm not sure if that's just me. Um, I'm gonna admit something to you guys. Um, I'm biased against purple. <laughs> And I always feel bad that I'm biased against purple because it's it's a good color, but like my eyes just don't like it. <laughs> but that's not that's not anyone's fault, right? We all have that color we just aren't a fan of. <laughs> and that's me, okay. Purple is not my favorite color. But you know, like I think it's a good design overall. <laughs> even even if I don't like that color, okay? I think I think I just 
you know, as you guys know, I'm like my favorite color is is green. And green and purple almost almost never look good together in my opinion. Yellow fan biased <laughs> against her opposite. Yeah, I just hate green. Can't look at it. Yeah, see, see, see. Every G green is not a creative color. <laughs> Yeah, I like green and yellow. Who could have guessed? <laughs> whoa, 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 are you saying my man Barty didn't look good? Barty is a dinosaur. So, <laughs> that's all I've said about this design. Hold on, hold on. I need, I need to, to give more appreciation. I, I think the, like, actual value placement is really good. All the toggles of the shawl, um, the robe and the the hat are going to be really good for the silhouette i think this this vtuber has so much potential i the concept like even before you see the design is already solid and then you put a solid design on top of it um and this is like a young artist guys this is like amazing amazing like that yeah, it's amazing, it's amazing. Like, Arjun is going to take my my job very soon. <laughs> it's like, if I've seen a couple of her designs and um, I'm always very impressed. I love so many colors, I can't really think of the ones I don't like in some way. I think the feather skirt dangles would get the idea across a lot smoother, but it could be a bit of a stretch. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe like some tasseling on the ends of some some of the garments would be cool. I don't know. I already think it's just such a solid start. She would loot your job. <laughs> Everything looks really good. I even like the eye brooch because uh, feather stars. I'm guessing feather stars have eyeballs on the ends of their tentacles, like sea stars. Yeah, I've never visit Louisiana during Mardi Gras. Everything is purple and green and gold. <laughs> look, 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 look. I've d I will still work in purple, okay? It's just, I have a hard time distinguishing if a, a color palette with mostly purple is attractive, okay? That's all. That's all. That's all. I think some textures on the clothes can be easily worked out as the artist grows more. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I think I started like a, a color war in the chat. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have no idea how to pick greens. I have a better time picking purples, but when you get the right ones, purple and green do go well together. Yes. Yes. I have worked in purple and in green, actually. I have done designs in purple and green. It's just, you know, if, if they're both really saturated, uh, I have a hard time. Personally. Personally. Okay? Personally. It's just, it's just my own brain. My hair is green and purple. She, oh no. I shouldn't have given my hot take on colors. <laughs> Alright. I expect the cancellation documents to be in by the end of the day, okay? You guys don't have a 28 page long Google Doc on how awful I am on Twitter. By the end of the day, you guys aren't doing your job. <laughs> oh yeah, I found another Pyro VTuber. Technically she would fit into the series. Oh, send me, send it to me my way on uh, Discord or Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here with the VTuber drama. Twit longer incoming. I'm so not surprised this exact argument between purple and green has happened to me elsewhere. Before that, purple versus yellow. <laughs> Could just press you address this and this. Yeah, doesn't like purple unsub canceled. Discord is open for non-patrons. Yes, it's in my it's a linked in my description. Uh, about to be Splatoon Wars. <laughs> Yep, can't believe this. I'm drawing, drafting my call out post at this moment. <laughs> I'm related. I thought they'd be membership. No, nope. I just like hanging out with my my fans. 
so don't feel out like that I'm I'm not that big yet guys not that big yet <laughs> yeah 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 I don't even have memberships open <laughs> I would feel bad at opening memberships before everything's completed right yeah 1.0 didn't even get completed I'm using all free overlays that don't really work I'd I'd rather just you know open memberships when I feel like <laughs> when I feel ready so yeah I don't have patron only things or anything I I just hang out anyways anyways thank you Admiral Argent you have such a solid start I really 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 like your concept and design I think you could go so far Everything is so unique down to your eyelashes. Please, please continue to um, design because I think you are, you're gonna go so far as a designer, okay? Uh, so thank you so much for submitting. Thank you for being brave. And um, I can't wait to see your VTuber completed. Uh, so yes, on to the next VTuber. All right, we've got Cerise Whip, Bunny Bunny VTuber. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's get to the lore. Get to the lore. The lore. The lore. All right, we've got Bunny Constellation. It has another form where the stars show, but she likes to be incognito. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, let me check my mail one more time because Cerise Whip, uh, unfortunately wasn't, uh, I wasn't, wasn't given permission to access the Google Doc, or the, the Google Drive, um, with their character in it. Um, so let me just check one more time if they gave me permission, um, to see it. Because uh, if, if we have permission, then I can actually get to their, their, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I hope I got permission. Because I feel bad, I just took this off their Twitter and I, it, sound, it says they have another form. But I, I, I couldn't find the other form. Uh, so if... I, can't, I don't see any permission granted. So, Cerise, if you want to resubmit um, for the next appreciation, uh, I am more than happy to take you again where we can see both forms. But yeah, already what, what we can see, I like it. Simple, but well designed. Um, I like the puffy sleeves. I like the shoes. This is very nice. Very nice. I like the glasses, but I'm very biased because I'm gonna have glasses like that soon. Are you taking submissions for future streams then? So, once I'm through this list, we're gonna start a new form with a, a, a bit of a change to it. Um, so just keep an eye out. Um... I'd say by the end of June, submissions will be open again. End of June at latest, okay? Um, so yeah, just keep an eye out. Um, Cause we need we need to change the dock a little bit. Like like I said, um, I couldn't access Cerise Whip's images because I had people post links to images when I could have just had them submit me images. Not in a hurry, but thank you for doing this. Yeah, of course. It's, it's a joy. Um, I absolutely love the scallop, scalloping on the collar. I think that's my favorite thing. I am very biased. I really like scalloped, scalloped things. I think, can we submit updated versions of your characters? If it's a major update, yes. But if it's just like an art cleanup with nothing changed to the design, uh, cause we're doing design deep dives, so if you changed your design, yes. But if, 
but if you didn't really change your design and you just went with a different artist or uh, you improved the art but didn't really change your design, I will skip over it. Uh, we had a few resubmissions here that didn't make the cut just because I didn't have anything new to say about the design than last time, if that makes sense. Uh, it has to be, it has to be a major update to the design, so yeah. I feel like this design needs a little more obvious traits so she can really stand out as a Bonnie. Right now she feels like a librarian, so maybe you should really push more into that. Yeah. There, yeah, there's a lot of submissions. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I only do major updates. Are PNG YouTubers accepted? Yes. Yes. Uh, you, you don't even have to be debuted yet. As long as you're fine with me showing a design or a work in progress of a design, you can submit. You don't even need to be completely committed to being a VTuber yet. You can just send me a design. That's all I need. I need a visual of your design and you to be able to tell me what the concept is. And then I can um, check it out, if that makes sense. A sneaky star pin to clue into the celestial in hiding would also be cute. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think she has another celestial form, but if she could have like a wink and a nod towards the celestial form in this design, I think that would tie the two concepts together a bit more. Uh, another thing I would say is if I really liked the scalloped collar, I think if another layer uh, was added under the pleated skirt to repeat that uh, scalloped motif, uh, somewhere in the design it would work really well uh, Simply because I don't see that repeated anywhere else in the design um, Other than that, I think I think you know, you're really cute adorable uh, simple yet effective and uh, If I if I didn't get your other form this time, I'm really sorry you, you can resubmit um, And we can we can compare the two forms next time uh, but thank you so much, Sari Swip, for, um, submitting. Uh, oh, okay, big bizarre idea, but maybe some really big implications on the skirt with this slight design. Implications on the skirt with, like, slight design. Just something to bring it out more. Yeah, yeah, just... You... Um, I would say this design could afford to have more details added to it if the VTuber so chose, you know? Ooh, maybe like a cute print on the skirt? Yeah, yeah. This VTuber has the potential to have more added to it. Exactly. Um, you know, if you're not into that, that's fine. But, you know, if you wanted to add more to the, the, your design, it's open for more details. You're not, you're not gonna... Uh, tip it over the edge if you add more things to it. That's what I want to say. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Suri Swip, for submitting. We are going to move on to the next VTuber. Alright. Keiko! Keiko! Let's... let's... Alright, alright. Keiko, 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 she is a Gaijinka Swadaloon slash lizard girl. Okay, if you don't know what a Swadaloon is, let me show you. Okay. Because not everyone is that into Pokemon, but I will show you. It is an adorable Pokemon. Here you go. Um... This gives me an opportunity to talk about something I get questions a lot. So, a lot of people act or ask me, uh, is it okay to make a character based off an IP? And to this, I say, you have to be careful. You have to be careful, especially if you want to monetize your content. You have to do it in a way that you are not infringing on copyright if you want to monetize your content at all. And even if you aren't monetizing the company 
that owns the IP could take you down at any time if they so chose. So if you have a design that is too heavily based on an IP and you blow up with that design, Nintendo could ask you to take it down if if they want it. Like, so to VTubers who want to be based on an IP, like that is like your goal or you have like a Pokemon OC that just embodies you so well um, and you just really, really, really want to, um, you know, make an IP based VTuber. I highly recommend doing what this VTuber did, where they took the things about the Pokemon that they like, uh, but they could easily, uh, you know, uh, they could easily pivot if they needed to. Like, Keiko has the secondary Gecko theme. If Nintendo hates, yeah, if Nintendo hates that, uh, it's too close to Swadaloon, Keiko could easily be like, Alright, just take the Swadaloon blanket off. I'm full Gecko now. If that makes sense. Uh, like, this one is borderline, I'd say. Like, one could argue that the silhouette is... is just Swadaloon. But, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd consider... So, like, if you're, if you're wanting to do an IP-based VTuber, do not mention the IP you're based on. Don't... Don't mention it. Uh, and then the other thing is, don't use an existing character. So, like, let's say you want a Yu-Gi-Oh! based uh, VTuber. Don't use Yugi. Don't use Kaiba. Make a Yu-Gi-Oh! inspired OC. Look at the fashion from the show. Um, look at- look at the hairstyles and the art style from the show. Do not mention Yu-Gi-Oh! at that point. And people could say, oh, they look like Yu-Gi-Oh, you know. Like, I could see them in that universe, but don't mention Yu-Gi-Oh, like, don't say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's- that's what I want to say. IP-based VTubers can be done, but you need to make it- ne You need to make it its own IP, and just inspired by the IP. You can't- you can't just take the IP. And incorporate it into your design. Um, so yeah, that's the two things I would say. Don't mention, like, for this VTuber, I'd say don't mention Pokemon. Just don't. Uh, and any way you could maybe add details to make it your own. Yes, it's very similar to the source material. I think it would be cool to maintain... If the main look was hoodie down, then you could choose a recognizable silhouette. Yeah, I would say add more gecko. Pivot, pivot your design more into the gecko. There's not enough gecko VTubers anyways, so just use use the gecko. It it'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a magical girl VTuber who loves Madoka Magica, but I tried to make it different from any existing character in the fr franchise. That's the way to go. That's the way you go. Get inspired by IPs. Don't base them off of IPs. Yes. Yes. Like, you can maybe tell that my eyes are very shoujo manga. But I didn't base anything. Yeah. Blanket could be a leaf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you could even, like, change the... The, like, silhouette. The top, the top things of the blanket to be two different leaves. Yes. Gotta take inspiration, not copy. Uh, keep the hood, but change the bottom to something else, like a onesie. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think these are all good suggestions. Um, so Keiko, I wouldn't say you need to change immediately. Uh, but if you start seeing your numbers climb and you're start starting to get worried, I would recommend uh, leaning way more into the gecko and kind of lead leaving the swaddle um, behind as you grow. Keiko is cute enough on her own with the playing- playing off grumpy lizards. Exactly! Exactly! Yeah. Um, I've seen quite a few VTubers who just outright- outright take the IP and it makes me worried. It makes me worried for them. I don't want them to get a cease and desist after paying hundreds of dollars to get the model done. 
you know, and then and then they're not making an identity for themselves, right? So so yeah, be careful with that, guys. Be careful. Uh, it's it's kind of playing with fire. Um, that's what I want to say. Um, lean into the gecko. Do it. Do it. Keiko, you're very cute. I would love to see what you look like without that blanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I'll get off my soapbox now. <laughs> Keiko, I really like your color palette. Um, face is quite unique. Um, I love your lizard companion. He looks like he chooses violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So thank you so much for submitting, Keiko. Uh, later on, I could see a lot of gecko design in the character's outfit. And once she unleashes her true being to the masses. Yeah. Uh, do you know how to get the legal A vibes? Is on, like, say, make a VTuber in someone's style? Like, Dragon Ball style. Is it forbidden because their style is member mental property isn't i don't know about that actually I, I don't know off the top of my head if art style is copyrightable i don't think it is um but yeah do your research uh totally chooses violence yeah making the swaddle and blanket an asset as opposed to a part of main design could work yes 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 the lizard is definitely a problem solver not a thinker <laughs> Yeah, because I never saw any leaning in a style. I make I make a quick one. Okay, okay, yeah. Make the blankie a gecko pattern. Like shed skin. <gasps> shed skin blanket would be adorable. Keiko, Keiko, Keiko. Free idea right there. All right. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people who draw characters in a JoJo design. I don't see much issue in it. I don't think, I don't think art style is copyrightable. I don't think so. I don't... Anyways, uh, I... If you copyright is like US law, then you can't copyright a style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much, Keiko, for submitting. We're going to move on to the next VTuber. Alright, alright, Kira Mint. Oh, let's get the Swadaloon out of there. <laughs> Kira Mint! Oh my gosh! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna gush. I'm gonna gush. It's Yum Fan Girl Hours. Okay. Uh, Kira Mint! Kira Mint is an energetic and cheerful VTuber that likes a, to be a bit mischievous and silly. She's a gardener. Loves being surrounded by plants, veggies, and flowers. Uh, rough sheet is by me. I forgot, I forgot to add that. Rough sheet is by Kira. Uh, and she's self-designed. She's self-designed based off of her own goofy fashion. I originally designed her for Vroid, which is why she's so simple. And I just like simple vibes. Alright. Sorry, sorry the... My PowerPoint is a little incomplete. I was kind of doing this on autopilot. But yes, yeah, self-designed VTuber here. I love the sunflowers. Yeah, sunflowers automatically um, bring in optimism to your design. Same with the yellow. I mean, that's just a gorgeous shade of yellow. I am not biased. Um, I love the cottage core vibes. I love the cottage core vibes. Perfect, autumn and cozy, yeah! <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, maybe bringing more asymmetry into it if if she so wanted. She said she likes simple designs, and there's nothing wrong with that. Love the color palette, yes. So this is basically, if you guys, if you guys have watched my videos, I've talked about my past life as Lorelei. This is what I was going for. <laughs> this is what I was trying to go for, but. Uh, I never quite got there. Um. <laughs> but uh, Kira Mint wears it a lot better. Yeah. Um, I, I love the expressions too. Like, I can see the mischievous but optimistic. I love the little sun-kissed freckles. I love it. I love it. Shade of green is just right. Yeah, it looks like the cusp. Her... 
Her hair literally looks like the end of summer. When, uh, when the grass has kind of dried up and it's going to be uh, fall. Like, it's perfect. If that's what she was going for, she nailed it. Um, I love that the character looks well... Like, she has been gardening with the apron and the socks being slightly dirty. Um, she looks like she's a well-lived-in character with a lot of personality. You know she'd make the best tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanted asymmetry, a simple swoop of the bangs would be nice. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Love this color palette. Yep, yep, yep. Kira, thank you. I, I love it. Even, even, I just realized, guys, the shorts, they have little flower petals on the end of them. How cute is that? Ah, like the daisy buttons, and then, and then she's got daisy flower petals. I know you guys can't see it really well. I'm sorry, but like check out her model like after the stream. She's got little daisy flower petals on the edge of her shorts. Yes. The whole thing is is absolutely adorable. This is such a solid design. This is such a solid design. Please. You- you wear the cottagecore elf vibes a lot better than I did. <gasps> what a great design. Alright. You guys ready for the next VTuber? Let's go on to the next VTuber. <gasps> okay, guys. Guys! Guys! It's a bat! It's a bat! It's a bat! It's a bat! We had Sod and now we have Sweet Kiwi. <gasps> Sweet Kiwi is a born a bat born without any wings. She was rejected by her people, so she decided to make some wings herself. That's why she looks so rugged. She found her place as one of the experiments of Zero, my groupmate, and Serbi, another groupmate. Sleeves and the fake rings are removable, but I lost the PNG of it. It's so cute! It's so cute! Look at those ears! Look at those precious ears! I, I want to adopt! I want to adopt, sweet kiwi! I want to adopt her! Look at it! Look at the little fluff. Look at the asymm asymmetry. Everything, everything is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the giant zipper, yeah. Even like the little spider companion hanging off of one of the, um, one of the ears. So cute, love the ears, love the ears. The ears are my favorite part. She's like a Neapolitan cupcake, yeah. <gasps> and uh, she just looks sweet. She just looks... She's lovely. I don't think I'd change anything. Exactly! I I just want to give her a hug. I just want to give her a hug. <gasps> I love the hair. I love how the hair and the, the ears work. Honestly, it's amazing uh, how, how, like, um, the ears in itself look like wings. Uh, I had a thing. Is it Stitch? No, she has two little fangies. Let me, let me zoom in. She got fangies. Do, do you see that? They're, they're like pink fangs. I don't know if that's visible. I try my best to like make things visible, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it reminds me of a gr gremlin. It is similar silhouette, silhouette yeah. Uh, but like, what was I saying? It's really hard to get recognized as a bat without wings. Because my 1.0 doesn't have wings, and I thought, oh, it'll be fine. Guys, I've gotten most recently dragon, but I've also gotten sheep. I've gotten just monster girl. I've gotten owl. I've gotten... Oh gosh, what else did I get? 
Point is, point is, I've been called everything but a bat, so the fact that Sweet Kiwi could get the ears looking like uh, bat wings in, in themselves really helps clarify the design. I don't know, recognized you as a bat instantly, but did you, did you uh, join my community when I started wearing these wings or no? Because the wings help people guess, um, but like without the wings, people are like, what are you? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, most recently getting dragon is really funny. Oh, maybe make the zipper look like bat wings. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Agreed. Uh, be totally honest with you, Yams. The only reason I figured out you were a bat because I know what Komori means. Yeah. Hoshimachi vid at least. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, Val. Thank you for tuning in. Maybe add a bat earring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying the fact that I could recommend recognize sweet kiwi as a bat without wings shows that the ears were really well done think you only knew you were a bat when you said it in a video once <laughs> yeah 2.0 is gonna gonna give more bat vibes i promise guys then again the type of bat you are is very distinctive that's true that's true um anyways thank you so much sweet kiwi no, you didn't offend me, Kenny. No, I I get it. I get it. I get it. No, I I agree with all of you. The nose gave it away from me. Yeah. So the ways I'm going to make my my VTuber more obviously a bat in the 2.0 is uh is uh more obvious bat features i'm gonna have bigger ears a bigger nose and i'm gonna have i'm gonna have actual wings not these asset wings that don't exactly look like bat wings uh so yeah yeah you'll look forward look forward to that you are a special bat i am a special bat thank you thank you yeah a cotton wool ball type of bat you are yeah 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 color palette isn't very normal for bats i understand yeah anyway sweet kiwi good job I think it's adorable. Keep up the good work. I love your concept so much. Also, I already said this, but I love the bat wing top in the 2.0. Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait for the bat wrap. Anyways, on to the next VTuber. Thank you, Sweet Kiwi, for allowing me to gush about you. Now we have Mui Rega Regalia. Um, that white glow is for YouTube Twitch safety. It is not part of the original design. So please check out the VTuber in the description if you'd like to see the full version. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about horns, am I right? <laughs> They're so big, it's so cool, right? Nuts. Huge horns, yeah. Yeah. The horns, the horns are a statement piece. Same with the hat. It is pretty crazy. I love how it, like, even, like, gets tangled in her hair. She seems powerful. Muy regalia, like, <laughs> very luxurious, yeah. <laughs> Biggest horns on the internet, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, horns look heavy. Yeah, how is she keeping them up? Her head must be strong. Yeah, it's super interesting. I haven't really seen a design like this for a VTuber. And I kind of hope that... The artist had the forethought to possibly make that a toggle so that she can stream without her head taking up half the screen. Uh, the huge horns and the shoes work together well to make a very unique silhouette. Yeah, yeah. If you blocked out the silhouette, uh, I would, I would definitely be like so interested. Like, ooh, what's that? A lot of headdress and not much happening in the lower body. It's, it's a lot to kind of consume. Yeah, a toggle would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, making a toggle would be a smart move. It's like Ina's tentacles. Not gonna lie, guys, when Ina first debuted, I was like, if she cannot hide her tentacles, uh, I don't think this is gonna work out. But she can hide her tentacles. So in a similar move, I hope that Mui Regalia can. Uh, does Laplace have a horn toggle? She does not. Laplace does not have a horn toggle. 
And I really, I really feel bad about that. She does have a crow toggle, however, she can take the crow off her head. I also think the Tibetan theming. Oh uh, yeah, I think there's some Tibetan theming, which is really, really cool. Um, nice little what? Terrified she might break an ankle though. <laughs> Good thing virtual virtual YouTubers don't feel pain. Am I right? As unique the horns are, I think she would look super cute without it. Yeah, if it's a toggle, it would work really well. Little plus horns are here to stay. Yeah. Oriental, but I can't put a figure on exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a unique, definitely unique aesthetic. Um, I like the metal triangles that are kind of like ta tangled within her horns. Uh, very interesting. I really like the pop of color in her eyes. Um, yeah, Lo lots of cool, cool elements. The I like that the um, thread on her um her socks are those socks i like the thread on her socks and how it kind of uh remin is similar to her tangled hair yeah 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 uh skulls and the horns make it feel necromancer maybe oh i need to f read the lore i'm sorry i didn't read the lore also this is a self-made vtuber so i hope i hope she has uh if, if, if she didn't, um, I'm sure she drew it separately, but even if she didn't, she could go back and cut it herself so that, uh, she could toggle it. Um, she is a demon concubine who had unrealistic dreams to hope to fall in love with the demon lord, only to be left with a neat in her room drawing and playing video games. Ah, okay. Okay. I hope that makes more sense with the lore now. This VTuber model possibly experiences extremely neck, neck and back pain, but I like the horns, the patches, I think remind me of red and black fangs from ES Skyrim. I dig it. Demon makes sense. Yeah, demon concubine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just noticed the third eye. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty cool. I don't know if it's an eye or a gem. I think it's actually a gem, but it looks like an eye. Horns and skulls, yeah. Yeah, very interesting take on a demon. It's very unique. Wow, that would explain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mui Regalia, for submitting. Also, I'm not doing my donathon anymore. I need to update my stream elements. Someone make me update my stream elements after the stream, please. Because I keep forgetting. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Twitch people, for not clicking on the link. Uh, amazing though, the skills too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, self-drawn, that's amazing. Very, very well done. Good job. All right, thank you so much, Mui Regilia, for submitting. We are going to go on to the next VTuber. All right, all right, so little little backstory as to why the quality of the photo is so bad on this one um the the link to the png for this one didn't work and then i had to screenshot their instagram off from my phone to get these i had to literally crop phone screenshots for for these this uh one to work so uh let me let me get their lore but that's that's why this one looks a bit weird. Uh, Umbrella Yokai VTuber. Uh, they want to ask me, can I make content with a non-stream format, i.e. videos and shorts? Yes. Yes, you can make videos. I make videos as my primary form of content. Uh, shorts are doing really well, so yes, please. Please go ahead and make your videos in shorts instead of stream. Why not? Uh, umbrella hat, yeah! Umbrella yokai. I see umbrella, I see yokai. He is the umbrella, yeah. Or they are the umbrella, rather. Um, Beatriz, I think <laughs> they are the umbrella, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, Techwear is pretty pretty cool i like the the characters the chinese character or japanese character probably on their on their knees says umbrella by the way 
Um... And then the Japanese on the top of the umbrella says Kasa Obake and Vtuba. VTuber. So Kasa Obake VTuber. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is just describing the um Kasa Obake is the the type of yokai they are. Um I guess I mean this is a cool take on on a uh, this is a cool take on a yokai, I will say. However, I would also recommend making the umbrella a toggle. Uh, a toggle just means you can take it in and off. Or uh, on and off. Oh gosh. Bat brain hours. I'm gonna need a break soon. Uh, love the amount of shapes, that's for sure. Yeah. So I'm worried that if you take the umbrella off that you won't be able to tell you're a Kasa Obake anymore. Maybe have it close behind their head? Oh yeah, that that might look a bit strange though. Uh, nice, it would be funny if there was a toggle to come close the umbrella over their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I would say maybe incorporate more yokai elements baked into the VTuber and don't rely on them being able to wear that umbrella at all times. I know you said you're you're not interested in streaming, uh, but there might be instances where you want your character to have a lower profile than the umbrella offers. In that case, in that case, I would say try and give your um, outfit more indication that it is a yokai. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's my only. I think other than that, uh, like you have a cool yokai umbrella tied to one of the hands. So I would maybe make a toggle where the uh, yokai, um, like the umbrella could come like the arm. Oh gosh. Okay. Bat brain hours. Bat brain hours. Okay. So like bring the arm up in a toggle and the arm is holding the umbrella. Does that make sense? Oh no. I'm, I'm gonna have to take a break soon because I'm not making sense anymore. I think, I think I'm, I think I need like the, uh, a slight break. Uh, but color palette looks good. Execution looks really well done. I would just say that tech wear, uh, by itself isn't going to indicate that you are a Kasa Obake yokai. So I would find a way to make that more obvious if the umbrella isn't on the top of the VTuber's head. Been discussing the design for about an hour. Yeah, yeah. Maybe more of a poncho? Poncho, poncho would give the silhouette of a Kasa Obake more. Um, if you wanted to go really radical, really radical with this, okay? Uh, I'm not saying you have to do this, but Kasa Obake only have one leg. So if you want to make your character an amputee, it would be in the lore. <laughs> Do I sound like a s crazy person when I say that? <laughs> oh no! Oh, a robot. Yeah, maybe a robo prosthetic. <laughs> Are you okay, Yo? Is that an interesting lore decision? Hi, Kenny Sue. You came when I was just starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Robo leg, robo leg pog. No, no, man, I agree with you. You do? I feel like I'm maybe, maybe going too far with my suggestions. Or just two colored pants. That works too. You don't have to cut off your character's leg. Um, there's other ways to go about this. I'm sorry. Maybe parasol toggle that they could hold up as a prop. That's, that's what I was trying to get at. But I, I said it wrong. So Yav is a civil war surgeon. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. I won't scrap it. Scrap it. I don't. I don't say like uh, cut off your leg. That's not what I'm trying to say. Okay. Just like incorporate the fact that there is only one leg uh, in the design as like 
The yokai you're based off of only has one leg. Maybe make one leg different to resemble that. We're cutting off feet to her lips now. No, 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 no. Okay. You totally said cut off your leg. Okay, I did. But that's not what I mean. Or put the legs behind each other standing like a gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm not saying interesting silhouette rip off your leg. I'm not. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna be right back, guys. I obviously need a break. I, I, I obviously. <sighs> Ah. My face is bright red. I'm so embarrassed. All right, I'll be right back guys. Thank you. Thank you for your patience I obviously need like a, a little mental mental five uh, before I tell people to cut off their legs, so <laughs> Technical issues will be right back <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you Kuhin so much for submitting. I will drink some water and um, maybe maybe reevaluate my life choices so I'll be right back.
Tracking isn't working. Hold on. Why not? Ah. Sorry for the long break. I I needed to evaluate my life choices uh, for a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, why isn't the tracking working, though? Y can you try again, VTube Studio, please? Nope. Alright. Cool. We're gonna start with Wi-Fi instead, then. Let let let's use Wi-Fi. Why not? Why not? Okay. Alright, alright. I'm just- I'm gonna move ahead. Thank you, Guhin. For submitting. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Up, up, boop, boop, boop. Did I skip too far ahead? Let's see. I'll let it play naturally to make sure this is the next VTuber. Yeah, this is the next VTuber. Alright, Franco! They are a person who loves frogs and wishes to be a frog sometimes, so he decided to go out in the forest and get a small cottage and learn witchcraft to one day maybe be able to talk to frogs or even become one. Nice. What's your opinion on frogs? My frogs frogs are amazing. Um, as you know, my animal companion used to be a frog. Uh, yeah. What content should I create as in what games should I play and stuff like that? Play games that make you happy and your audience will love it. Uh, I didn't miss my design being reviewed. Uh, no, you did not. Uh, we have not gone through your design. 
Let's see, like the bun looks like a cartoon character. Yeah, the art style is really pleasing. The color palette reminds, and the jacket actually reminds me of the children's book, Frog and Toad Are Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he has the vibes of a, a hobbit, cozy. Yeah, 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 they look amazing. Um, yeah, the buns remind me of the shape of the eyes on the head of the cartoon frog. Yeah, I think, I think, looks like a frog wannabe. Like, I can see the frog wannabe, like, in the silhouette and the way they dress. The, the shoes look like frogs. You could even put buttons on the shoes, like button eyes on the shoes to make your shoes look like frogs. Uh, nose is adorable. Yeah, the art style in general is adorable. Looks like he'd fit in the palm of my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe more frog elements. Maybe a, like, frog pin on the jacket in the top half. I feel like the top half concentration, uh, might need some things added to it yeah i agree feels very froggish yeah 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 um i think either a frog hairpin or a frog brooch 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 i've never never figured out how to say that uh would do this very well i would also say like I want to see, like, a book bag on this character for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe a, a, a frog encyclopedia on... The other chat messages on YouTube? I was wondering why I can't see them. Yes! Yes, most, the majority of chat uses YouTube still. But I like to make, I like to make it, uh, give people the ability to choose. Cute over-the-shoulder leather bag. Yeah, froggy backpack maybe. Yeah. I, I think those would be good. Yes, froggy backpack. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah. Add frog chair. Frog chair from Animal Crossing, let's go! Actually, this design reminds me a lot of Animal Crossing. I wonder if it was inspired. Backpack to hold frog. You could have frog head in the pocket of the sweater. Yeah! You could have a frog companion. Just a backpack filled with frogs. Yes, a lot of potential in your design. Thank you so much for sharing, Froggo. I made a frog build a bear yesterday, so cute. Good to know. Uh, alright. You guys ready? Earrings might be cool. Oh, frog earrings would be cute. I feel like cute stripy socks would fit the Froggo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very sweet design. Color palette is very cozy. You look very cottagecore. Thank you so much for submitting, Frogo. And we're gonna go on to the next VTuber. I hope he's still in chat. Let's see, let's see. Next VTuber. All right. We got Mario Ito. Mario Ito is one of one of the the bat bunch in the Discord server. Let me, let me grab, let's see, gotta go back to Mario, all right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, arms seem useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Mariel Ito. Uh, angel of ties who helped make the world and choose to incarnate to see what it was like from the inside. He made himself a body out of cooled lava, modeled after humans but with spider elements because he feels a kinship with them. And humans just don't have enough limbs and eyes, man. <laughs> Uh, they say, or he says, this is very much a first draft. I have a few ideas to add to the next version, but I want to hear your thoughts as a designer. So, I didn't know anything about, like, the, the angel stuff, but, uh, I don't know. I, I love, I love, <laughs> I love the, how simple yet effective it is. I don't think, I don't think you need to, like, go too much further with the design, I think 
just the concept in itself makes it unique enough, right? Um, that, that's just my... <laughs> that's just my um, take on it. The outfit is simple, but the design is already so outlandish that it works. Yeah. This is silly, but it reminds me of the video of the boy playing like three Game Boys at the same time to farm shiny Pokemon. <laughs> so, like, I want I want to say like, you can either work really hard to make like a super complex, super out there design that no one has ever seen before, or you can do what Maddie L does and have like a very solid concept, and the execution doesn't need to be that complex, right? The, the concept in itself is unique enough that Mattiel doesn't really have to go above and beyond on the, the complex execution. And in fact, like, he's so memorable because he doesn't have too many, too many things to remember. <laughs> like, the, the arms and the eyes are already, like, so, so memorable on itself. I love how the top and bottom paired eyes looking at the devices while the middle eyes are used to s speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just such a charming design, right? I absolutely love the artist's rendition. Love the artist's style. If he's a big multitasker, he could incorporate that into streams. It would give an extra layer to his character. Yeah! Yeah, that would be really funny. Three times the hugs. Yes. Yeah, the fact that the eyes are all looking different ways at different things is epic yeah it's really great it's really great it's just so charming i want i want a cartoon character of him yeah he was an angel before um and his body's made out of lava but he's the f he took the form of the spider because it's more useful basically uh thank you for the follow imaginary bff 207 uh yeah, the slime video, Subway, Subway Surfers on the side. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he looks like he should be turned into a marketable plushie. That's me who subbed. Oh, thank you, Luis. Um, so yeah, I, I wish, I, I get this a lot. I get male VTubers telling me, oh man, there is, there's nothing... Uh, that I can do to stand out because male VTubers just aren't as interesting as female VTubers. Um, and every time I see a, a design like this that's just thinking out of the box, um, that immediately proves those that type of thinking wrong. Because there are a lot of concepts that aren't explored enough as a VTuber, male or female, and people are just um, not thinking outside the box enough. I know some awesome male VTubers, both design and personality-wise. Yeah! Yeah! Exactly! Become Spider. I, I have ranted about this a few times, but there are not enough insect VTubers. If he was made of lava, he could have some lava in his feet or something like reddish, orangish, flamish. Yeah, I mean, part of me doesn't want to add any details to the design. Because it already looks like a cartoon character used for animation, if that makes sense. And if you add too much design, uh, like, maybe some red end undertones to keep the simple design. Yeah, maybe some red end undertones. Or maybe even, like, a red streak in his hair would work. Uh, my wife's 2.0 design is going to be kind of inside-like. I'm excited for it. Yeah, I know the real cringe male VTuber. <laughs> I know one real cringe male VTuber, Yuki. <laughs> Yuki, you're not talking about yourself, right? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, I would say very subtle lines on the body to make it look like lava, like, lava, like Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Definitely not, Yuki. No, I love your design, Yuki. It's very unique. Uh, I like spider plushies. We need we need him in a plush. Yeah. But basically, I feel like... The... The foundation Mattiel has made for himself is so firm. Oh, we don't have any BGM. 
<laughs> we don't have any BGM. I forgot to turn it back on. Oh, that's cringe. Alright, there we go. Um, I already feel like the foundation is so firm that um, you could have Maddie L in literally any outfit or hairstyle and I still know exactly who it is. And that's when you know you have something special in a character design. I mean, I, that's what I strive for with with my character designs. A reddish addition to the fingertips and nose, just really toning. It looks great as is, though. Yeah, it already looks visually good. I don't want anything to change, honestly. Um. Yeah. I honestly, I didn't read Mattiel's lore. So I assumed, I assumed like he's just a spider dude. <laughs> honestly, I don't even think the the hoodie needs spider themey. No, I I honestly think like he already looks like a spider just going about his day. I love it. I love the the mix of casual with monstrous. I love the actual like oh I just dress like you guys. Like that actually adds to the charm. Yeah yeah yeah. I've seen a lot of VTubers and I remember that. This design, if that says anything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hard agree. I absolutely love this design. <laughs> I, I know I've said that like 500 times, but I have to say, if you do thinking, if you think outside the box, you don't need all the fancy design tricks to make the design, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, like, you don't have to work 500 hours on a Genshin Impact inspired human design when you could just think outside the box and come up with something really simple yet unique um, and instantly stand out and instantly be memorable. It's iconic, exactly. Oliver, you are right, it's iconic. Just tells that iconic doesn't mean more. It can be simple, yes. I, I consider this like I could see this as like a Cartoon Network protagonist that is memorable just simply for the uh, for the fact that he's a spider that takes it the whole way. I love the charming simplicity of this design. Yes, exactly. Would like to see the guy on the other sidewalk going to the bodega. Tbh, good vibes. Uh, he could be a group of normal human friends, and the fact that he looks like a spider would never come up in conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, fellow humans. Exactly! He looks like a chi uh, charming, inviting guy. I want to watch his streams just because of how cool he looks. <laughs> Alright, enough gushing. I Enough gushing. I... I love your design, Vadiel Ito. Thank you so much for submitting. We have to move on to the next VTuber. All right, Astrid Aka. So Astrid doesn't really have any social media yet. Um, and she's, she's working on her character design. Uh, let's read a bit of her lore. Where's my lore? Where's my Google form? Uh, okay. Uh, couldn't add a link to the picture, but I'll give them. Okay, here we go. Astrid is a vampire squid who ran away from the midnight zones in the blue sea because she didn't want to become one of the new rulers of all cephalopods. They already knew a lot about humans because she would watch them in their free time. Uh, she knew how to get around without being spotted because of the cephalopods were, work were looking for them because she was important to all of the cephalopods. One time they almost got caught Astrid, but she, uh, one time they almost caught Astrid, but she slipped away from them while, uh, they were trying to use their ink to slow down Astrid, but it didn't work. Now Astrid is kind of free and lives life always hiding. I don't have anything specific. I just want your opinion on anything you think about my model. Okay. 
Vampire Squid is a really cool concept. How's the stream? Good, Zik. Don't worry, we haven't gotten to you. We might get you to in part two just because, uh, if, if you weren't there, my brain kind of broke. Uh, oh yeah, her dress looks like an upside down squid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the vampire squid. Uh, uh, yeah. The, the black and red color palette works with Vampire Squid. Um, I would... Let's see, let's see. I, I see, like, the little... F Vampire Squids have... Okay, I'm gonna look up the species again. Because I think I'm also equating it with a Dumbo octopus, which does, does not help. Let me just get a, a reference of a... Vampire squid. Okay, they do have those flaps. They do have the flaps. Okay, okay. See, this is why I need to look. Uh, come on, come on. It's not, it's not showing up. Hold on. Let's, let's get a different, different picture. Trying to get a different picture. I'm sorry. I think this will work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Deep sea creatures are wild. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are quite wild. Um, and then I'm going to get another picture because I have a point that I want to make. Um, so let me get this picture too. Um... Okay, okay. So I really like how you translated the flaps uh, in, in, into the top half. I like that you gave her the flaps. That's great. Um, that's a great start. Um, thought it was like a pepper for a second. Uh, being called a vampire squid because the bat esque wing fins between the tentacles yeah 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 so i would i would actually if if you want um i think inverting the squid design you have would be more natural i think uh getting the head inspired towards the head and then having the the ruffling be a poofy skirt at the bottom uh, would be more natural flowing wise like make the second picture I have down there uh, the webbing I would make that a skirt instead of a collar uh, and I think that will make the design flow a lot more naturally um, if you don't want to wear a dress that's you know uh, fine maybe make it a like a coat but uh, you know, that would be my biggest recommendation to make the design flow a bit more because the the top heavy nature of the design might look a little bit awkward and not very hydrodynamic. Uh, simply because like if this character was swimming, all the water would get caught in the in the top and actually prohibit this character from moving forward unless she swims backwards, uh, which is a little awkward. Um, Poofy shorts, long cool trench, trench coat, cape, so many cool options. Yeah, I would just make it more bottom heavy in the design. Um, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I think it's it's a solid start. You've got a solid start. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I think you've got a might need to make the eye bigger. Uh, you know, it depends on your art style, you know? Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much for submitting your design. Uh, I can see Vampire Squid, um, and, uh, you should, you should continue making art because I believe you would go very far. Uh, make the hair less of a bob because it makes the head look very rounded, which is more octopus than squid. Oh yeah, you could make the hair longer. More variances in red could help too as well. And I think that's part of the limitation of the, the art tools that they currently have. 
So uh, I would just say continue to refine your art process and um, I, I wish you luck on your art journey. So thank you Astrid for submitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Splatoon design could be a great inspiration. Agreed, agreed. Uh, I like that they're incorporating blue from the eyes in the, of the squid into the accents of the design. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep going, Astrid. You got this. And with that, we're gonna move. Wait, was this my last VTuber for today? Let me let me double check. This might be the last one, actually. Uh, let's see, let's see. Nope, one more, one more. Let's go. One more. One more VTuber. Who's gonna, who's it gonna be? <gasps> Ooh, this is a good one to end on. Hold on, I'm gonna see I'm gonna mute. Okay. That's you, Kiara! This is such a cute, this is such a cute design. This is such a cute design. I really like shark girls already, but this this takes it this takes it another level. So let's 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 read Kiara's lore. She is a chill ghost shark that is addicted to iced tea. Would a ghost fit as a VTuber pet for me? I think a little ghost would be such a cute. You know what you could do is you could make it a ghost that is based off of uh, one of those sucker sucker fish that that attach to sharks. What are those called? What are those called? The sucker fish that attach to sharks. What are they called? Uh, A Remora! Remora! You can make a ghost Remora! You can make a ghost Remora pet. And I think that would go so well. I would love it. I would love it. Yes, yes. Not a cookie cutter. Cookie cutter is different, but... A skeleton fish could be a nice pet! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little ghost piranha. That would be cute too! Yeah, lots of potential for a pet. Um, other than that... I think your design is really solid. I love the um, layering of the lights and darks. I love the monochrome color palette. Um, I love that even your tail is interesting with the cutout of it. Um, the asymmetry of the legs and the hood both conveys a shark and ghost, which is really, really nice. Yeah, little stitches on the black patches of the hood are so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is so cute. And this really helps you stand out from a lot of other shark VTubers with adding the ghost concept. The The hood is my favorite part. One thing I would say is, um, depending on like the illustration, the black teeth of the hood are a little hard to read. I would maybe add the stitching from the uh, eyes of the hood onto the black teeth of the hood as well just to um make it more visible because the dark hair and the dark teeth kind of blend together uh you can imagine the type of death and portray it in the design with this you can even push the message about how sea creatures are suffering because of the junk oh yeah yeah you didn't see the teeth at first yeah um yeah yeah such a good job making sure both the ghost and shark elements shine through clearly. Yes! This is very solid. This is a very solid design already. Um, it would just be like, you know, balancing balancing those teeth. Um, the teeth stand out more on the new model. Good, 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 good. Good to know. Um, it It's very, very cute. I, I, I... Oh... It's just so cute. Oh my gosh. Love the black belly decorations. Yeah. This might be far, but later on you could even do a part where you basically transparent with skeletary visionary of the insides glowing inside. It could be fun to try that. That's pretty far-fetched, but yeah, you could try it. She died because she passed out in the water and drowned. Oh no! Oh. Yeah. I think it's adorable though. 
You've got a really... I, I see every, every design element uh, you wanted to portray. So yeah, thank you. <gasps> I wish I had more to say because it's, it's a really solid design. But sometimes when a design is really solid, I have less to say because I have nothing to add. Um, the, the bows and the frills are very cute. Um, it gives like a feminine element to an otherwise kind of macabre design. Um, the color palette is very both ghost and and shark. Do you like my purple eyes? Yes. The fact that they're a brighter color than the rest of your design really draws attention to your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing that to add is more interesting. I think that the concept is already interesting. Yeah, there isn't much that needs to change. She's pretty perfect. I love purple. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I said something about purple earlier. You don't have to like think I hate purple or something. I just have a harder time working with it. Uh, it's such a yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a very solid design. Agreed. Agreed. Um. Uh, Perhaps when it's shorts instead of the ruffled skirt, you could add a stitch uh, and zipper lines to add more detail without changing the design. Yeah, 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 I see that. I mean, the design is nice, but it doesn't show too much of the story. I disagree, Zik. I, I think that I can see both the ghost and the shark quite well. You don't need to show your entire backstory in... in the, um design in fact i think like i i have talked about this before but lore and concept are two separate things they can be the same but lore and concept are different uh for instance like i i solidified my lore just last week and i was magically transformed into like a human honda and white bat hybrid right but that doesn't mean that I have to show that magical transformation in my design. Because my concept itself doesn't have magic in it. If that makes sense. I'm not trying to portray magic in the design, even though magic is involved in my backstory. If that makes sense. So I, I disagree that you have to show the drowned in Kiara Kiru's design even though that's part of her backstory. I hope I made sense there. Because if you try and incorporate every single element of a VTuber's backstory, especially if it's like a chapter book or a whole lore video, you're gonna have an overcomplicated design. Um, so yeah, concept and design are our concept and lore are different. That's all I wanted to say. Um, oh, Alright. That's as many as I can do. I, I basically... I basically knew my... I predicted my limit pretty well this time. Thank you so much, Kira Kira, for both attending the stream and submitting your design. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it will make the design more interesting than just a cute ghost shark girl, even though the concept is already unique. Yeah, that's an alright opinion to have. I I disagree. I already like it as it is. I wouldn't change much. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, to each their own, right? Alright, here we go. Let's, let's go to chess chatting. Oof. 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 I'm tired today. I, I hope- I hope everything- I hope the commentary held up. Whole point of watching a VTuber is some context to learn more about them. Good job, Yam. Double music- Oh no! Oh no! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's listen to Kirby. Ah, <sighs> oh, Tsukare ma- Tsuka- Otsukare-sama! I can't speak Japanese anymore can't speak anymore. I don't know what happened to my brain today. It wasn't... I hope my commentary was good. I hope. I just realized you doubled the number of streams you were expecting to do for this round of VTuber appreciation. Yes! Actually, I've almost tripled them. 
I've almost tripled them because we're still we're still going. We still have. Also, yum stream elements. What do you mean stream elements? Uh, what stream elements? Ah. Uh, hope it wasn't too tiresome. Stream elements on Twitch. Oh, thank you, thank you. See, I already forgot. I already forgot. Change your donate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. The bat brain is terminal today. I... Chronic bat brain today. Oof, oof, oof. I don't, I don't know what happened today. I'm just kind of drawing a blank and I'm a little, I'm a little out of it, but I hope the commentary holds up. Thank you everyone for going on this journey with me today. Yeah, I should also change the nude palm pal is joined, yeah. You need sleepium? I slept eight hours. I don't know what's up. I did sleep eight hours. It was insightful as always. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, I think these are just, you know, all of the appreciation. But seriously, thank you for going through all these designs. Yeah, I love hearing your commentary. Really? I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, makes sense. It's cool when it can be pulled off, but it actually usually makes things convoluted. Exactly. Concept and lore are separate. I've made a video on lore, I've made a video on concept, and I made them separate videos on purpose. Um, but yeah. I think- I'm not good at live commentary. That's something I'm trying to work on. I think I sound a lot more elo- eloquated in my- in my, uh, actual videos, because whenever I have to do commentary live, it's- it, it's really hard for me, and it's a little taxing, but I'm trying to get better. Trying to get better. Uh, some days are just snork near me, me. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's normal. Well, some people are more naturally gifted at live commentary than others. Today on YouTube for appreciation, we got to see even more amazing designs, some legal advice. Uh, how to color war, Yama says, <laughs> amputation, yes, and chat started a man. There we go. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for being understanding uh, on a day that I'm kind of out of it. And I really hope the VTubers who went on today aren't too upset uh, at my my slow commentary. But I really do. I really do try to give each and every one my my best commentary possible. Uh, some be people are better with improv. Some people are better with pre-written scripts. Yes, I'm a script girl. I really like scripts. I really like that I can revise and refine my statements before I say them on a script. But there is no way I could do this in a video format. It would be way too much work. These these videos are or these streams are already like the work of a video uh, each time. Honestly, honestly, this was a lot of fun. I'm so glad. <sighs> Okay, I am too tired to even chat after, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end stream and take a little nap. <laughs> the amputation was a great call. Oh my gosh. I'm not clipping that, so if any of you want that as a clip, you're gonna have to edit it yourself. <laughs> Cause that's too embarrassing to put on my own channel. Have sweet dreams. Yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And as always, take care of that bunch.
<laughs> Thank you so much. How was your stream? What did you play? Pretty sure I got everything out of my hand. No feeling needles in it. Oh, that's good. That's good, Azuri. I'm glad. Make sure to put some ice on it. That's good. You're looking at an indie design. Oh, oh that sounds so cool. Honestly, indie designs are so amazing. Seeing all the different designs and different concepts of all the other indie YouTubers. Like, for example, Midnight. Midnight is a vampire mouse that owns a, um, a cafe. Really good at it. I think I'm so sorry. 